I had a dream the other night. I walked out of the city to a forest, and there were neatly paved bicycle paths and trash cans every 50 feet and trash every 10. And I walked deeper into the forest, managed to get away from the picnic tables and the outhouses that lined the forest edges. The roaring cars gave way to the rustling of tree branches, crackling of fallen leaves under my step. When the wind tunneled through, the wind whistled and sang as it flew past the bark and leaves. I walked, listened to the crack of dead branches under my feet, and I felt a branch against my shoulder, and I looked up and I could hear the trees speak to me. And they said, thank you for letting the endangered animals live here amongst us. We do think they are so pretty, and it would be a shame to see them go. And thank you for recycling paper, because you're saving us for just a little while longer. We've been on this planet for so long, embedded in the earth. We do have souls, you know. You can hear it in our songs. We cling with our roots. We don't want to let go. And I said, but, but, but I don't do much. I, I don't do enough. And they said, we know but we'll take what we can get. <laughs> and then I woke up in a sweat. And do you even know why we should save the rainforest? Oh, preserve the delicate palace. Just tear the whole forest down. What difference does it make? Put in some orange groves or concentrate orange juice can be a little cheaper. Well, did you know that medical researchers have a very, very difficult time trying to find and come up with synthetic cures for diseases on their own? It helps them out when they can first find the substance in nature, and a tree that appears in a rainforest with a cure may be the only one of its species, or one like it maybe two miles away, instead of right next to it. I wonder how many trees we've destroyed to plant more orange groves. Service is right. Everything is linked here. We destroy our animals so we can be wasteful and violent. We destroy our plants. We destroy our earth. We're even destroying our air. We wreak havoc on the soil, on the atmosphere. We dump our waste into our lakes. We pump aerosol cans and exhaust pipes. And these animals and forests keep calling out to me. The oceans. The wind. Because in the wild, you have no power over anyone else. Now that we're civilized, we create our own wild. Maybe when we have all this power, the only choice we have is to destroy ourselves. And so we do. And I thank you on the theme, and I look for you for this one. A poet walked in a cafe Shy haiku poet. And I thought. <laughs> <laughs>